What's up everyone, Metal Rayman here and welcome to a brand new video! Today we'll be having a look at the brand new item, the Reaper Bludgeon. We will be comparing it to multiple different things such as comparing it with the Borg Pet, the Blood Reaper Pet, the stats to the normal Abyssal Bludgeon, uh, what can it hit, the max hits, uh, how the special attack works, etc. So. Before we get into all of that, we have a giveaway for this video, of course, a $45 bond to one of your lucky winners, and all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment your in-game name down below in the comments, and turn on the post notifications. If you've done all of that, you entered the giveaway, I wish you all the best of luck on that. If you're new to the game, you want to try out Spawn PK for yourself, use the link in the description as it helps me out a ton as well. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Alright, so we are going to start off with how to obtain the Reaper Bludgeon. There are currently two ways in the game to uh, actually get this item. One of them is from the uh, Blood Reaper event that spawns every 4 hours I do believe and uh, it has a small chance of dropping it. As you can see if we look up the boss it has a uh, multitude of drops including some of the rarest items you can get from the event in total. This includes the Halloween dies, the Blood Reaper pet, the Blood Reaper scythe hilt that you can use on the uh, side of Theater in order to make a new Blood Scythe and then as well as the uh, Reaper Bludgeon of course. The Bludgeon and the Dice are 1 in 500 and the Pet and Hilt are 1 in a thousand so uh, talking in Rage you will see the Bludgeon more often being dropped than you will see one of the other two drops. Just in order to clarify in case some people get uh, confused about it there is no way to turn a normal Abyssal Bludgeon into the Reaper Bludgeon no matter what you can't die it or anything you have to get the drop straight, no other way. Just in case some people were wondering about that. Alright, and now it's time to compare the stats uh, with a normal bludgeon to see how one does to the other. We have no stats at the moment, even if though even though we are wearing the uh, parrot, but it doesn't matter all that much. Uh, let's have a look. So the normal Abyssal Bludgeon doesn't really have a lot of accuracy stats besides the crush bonus as well as a 85 strength bonus. Not too bad overall, it's a pretty okay weapon but nothing too special to say the least. But if we take a look at the Reaper Bludgeon over here, you can see the accuracy goes up by a whopping 30 stats as well as 20 I do believe on the strength, yeah there it is, 20 strength bonus in comparison to the normal bludgeon. Uh, a lot of people have been wondering about it but the Elder Blood Ring does not boost the Reaper Bludgeon as it does not contain the word blood in the name. In contrast with the new Blood Reaper Scythe, it does have the blood in the name and that literally makes it work with the Elder Blood Ring. So unfortunately you can't combine it with something like that to make it hit much higher. However, the special attack is a case on its own. With the Reaper Bludgeon, the special attack is based um, on how low your HP is. For every HP that you're missing, you increase, increase the possible damage that you do. So we'll be having a look at it in just a second at the dummies as to how that works. But there you have a general idea of what the special attack does. It consumes 50% of your special attack bar unless you wear a Ring of Vigaur or Elder Blood Ring. Something with the Vigaur effect that will make it 40% instead. And uh, yeah, let's go to the dummies and uh, try it out, shall we? Alright then, we are now at the dummies. We are basically wearing max strength as far as I can. I don't have ferocious gloves, for example, but we are wearing the uh, new Knight Does Not Face Guard for plus one max damage, as well as just a side for a pretty hefty uh, strength bonus, to say the least. So let's have a look. We are currently full HP. I'm gonna try it out with the Bark Pet and start off with the normal bludgeon which has a max hit of a 53 as you can see right here in the bottom corner and fully potted and with the reaper bludgeon this changes into a 58 so there's a small little 5 damage difference between the two bludgeons um, a lot of people, I mean if you have been uh, keeping track of the new halloween items the bludgeon is the one that has been crushing the most uh, not a lot of people want it, it's not all that amazing according to a lot of people so perhaps with this video we can maybe force a little bit of a buff on it. Uh, personally I would like if they just made made it a Blood Reaper Bludgeon in order to make it work with the El Elder Blood Ring. Just to really give it that extra boost that it might need. But first we're gonna have a look at everything else that it can do before we judge too quickly. But yeah, all in all it's not too bad of a max hit for a normal poke. The speed is kind of decent, it's not slow but it's not quick either, there's quite a little bit of time delay in between, definitely something like an Eldemol speed or something like that I believe. 
But yeah, not too bad at all. However, if we combine it with the Blood Reaper pet, it opens an, another door entirely. Because now we can take out a Dwarven Rock Cake and bring ourselves to 1 HP and show you guys the difference with what we can hit now. So suddenly that max of 58 became a 61. Not too bad at all, it's a small little increase, but you know, just to compare that with the episode, uh, the normal bludgeon that had a max hit of 53 before it goes to 55. So that's only a 2 increase while the other one has uh, a 3 increase, so that's pretty good on its own. However, the special attack is of course the most interesting out of it all. First I'm gonna try it with the Borg pet to see what we can max uh, normally if you didn't have the Blood Reaper pet. It would be a 85. Okay, that is pretty pretty high, not gonna lie. And then we have the uh, Reaper pet for an 83. Okay, so that is that is really interesting to be honest. Does that mean that the Borg pet strength bonus is overall more than what the Blood Reaper can buff you at low HP? I mean, it also gives an accuracy buff, so it's not like it's completely useless or anything, but the fact that Borg Pet has a higher max hit does kind of surprise me, not gonna lie. But you do have to keep in mind that even though it might not have the same max hit, or miss two in total actually, um, it does give a quite huge accuracy buff as well. I mean the Borg also gives 15%, but this one gives I do believe plus 30 in crush itself, plus 10 strength bonus, and going to low HP with this pet does increase the accuracy overall. But um, yeah, pretty interesting overall I would say. I think we should just go ahead and test it out in the wilderness and see how it does before we judge too quickly. And then we can uh, try out a few different things. But yeah, Borg Pet does have a higher max hit than the new Blood Reaper Pet. See, another reason why I find it so interesting is because if we take a quick look at the scythe, this thing maxes an 82 with the Borg Pet, but if I drop the Blood Reaper Pet it suddenly becomes an 86. So that's where my confusion is coming from. Why does the Blood Reaper pet do give me more damage at low HP with a scythe, but not with the bludgeon? Is it just a percentage thing where it's just not reaching the threshold of the same amount? Like my strength bonus is so much higher with a scythe that uh, the Blood Reaper can boost it enough to hit higher than a Borg pet? Really confusing stuff to me, but uh, interesting to say the least. Alright, let's get into the PK now. Alright then guys. Um... It's currently the edge hotspot, so I think that's a perfect time to uh, try this out. I don't think I need anything else, really. Yeah, we have the hotspot for two and a half hours. I don't think I can already use the orb in my house again. I'm afraid I can't. It hasn't been 12 hours yet. How much? Oh, no, I can. Oh, shit, okay. What up? Hotspot crystal. Very nice. So now we can have a, a double chance on uh, that shit and get a bunch of tokens in the process. As for my risk at the moment, it is just the 10 build orb that I'm risking. And Ghost Twin wants to get luck. Here we go. First fight. I can't spec again very soon. I was on a... Oh, a 61. And a zero spec. Rip. I mean, the pet that we're using does give a lot of cr uh, crush bonus. That really does help out with a weapon like the bludgeon. We just need to hit something a lot higher. I mean, obviously, the scythe we tried out in the other video was a bit more uh, deadly than this. Alright, we have another fight with a uh, Super Unicum. Good luck to him. I do want to test out the bludgeon a bit more just to see what we can kind of hit with it. It's definitely not as painful as the scythe. <clears throat> but I think people have seen the scythe now and now they're very wary of the new items. Like, oh, I don't want to get hit in 90. But I don't think that that this weapon can hit that, or anything close to it really. Well, maybe close to it, with spec or something. I believe at 1 HP it's really high. I believe I got a hotspot casket, okay. I see you. Hopefully I can follow suit to that soon. Oh, come on, spec him. Hit something. Oh, a 16. God damn it, dude. What am I gonna do with a 16, man? Get him. 63, good fight. There we go. First good hit with the bludgeon so far. Nice amount of Halloween tokens. 
It's very really intense. Okay, decent. Let's see who our next target will be. I'm gonna have a bunch of skippers again, of course. Gonna give this guy a chance, man. Good, get me lower. And now he's moving. Okay. But the normal pokes aren't anything too spectacular, to be honest. Oh, I'm really low HP, let's go for it. Let's double spec him. Oh, I clicked it too late. And a fight. This is a uh, <clears throat> disappointing, to say the least. Especially at such low HP, I was expecting a lot more, to be honest. And he's already dead. Well, I was expecting more of the bludgeon hits, at least. Let's also kill a bot real quick, see if we can get a casket from that. Always remember to do your bot kills, guys. While it's at edge hotspot. Try with the Borg. Again, one is 60. Ah, no casket though, unfortunately. Alright, our next target is over here. Tech with a Q. Good luck to him, man. Let's see what he can do. And maybe if we can get a higher special attack up with the bludgeon. That is definitely something we are uh, striving for during this video. <sighs> okay. Well, he was making it very difficult on me to get a high bludgeon spec off. Because he died really fast. Well, I should have spec right there, to be honest. Fuck. Okay, there's a chance. Come on, kill him. 79. Whoa. We're not even that low HP. Damn, that was a solid spec. Best one we've seen so far. Okay, that's actually promising. Maybe we shouldn't depend on the max hit dummy too much. Because uh, I think we can actually do higher in reality. You might just spec me out at any second now, to be honest. If I'm camping 66, yeah, there we go. Oh no, I meant the spec. Come on, game. Wait, ah, fuck it. At 49? Hit a 21. Damn, that's such a shame, dude. Really wanted to spec on that first. Uh, First go, I clicked it just a little too late, like one tick too late. Or oh, that's it. Again, really? Wow, okay. That's a shocking surprise to be honest. RIP, the RNG didn't pull through. Okay, the bludgeon definitely feels way more balanced than the scythe. Just a good weapon, but you gotta get lucky, you know? Right, we have the next target. Mr. Gangster Net over here. Go for it again. Good fight, we had a 75 right there. <laughs> Shout out for me. Good game, dude. That was a really nice hit. Right, good luck to this guy. What I like about the bludgeon is that the special attack effect really crosses over nicely with the Grim Reaper, or like the pet effect, this one. Because this one really buffs it when you're low HP and this one does as well, the bludgeon itself. So I really like that uh, combination. Really fits together, same choice of weapon, etc. It's a nice one for sure. If he can bring me down a bit. Ooh, a 57 poke right there, that is beautiful. Give us a cast hit. When do we want it now? Are you kidding me? Inaccurate doo doo. Casket, man. Fuck. We have Mr. Gangster Net again over here. Good luck to him. Oh lord, oh lord, we have Nigeria again. Twice in a row. But this is not going the fun way. Right, okay. Let's pick it up back. Come on. Let's go for it, fuck it. 58 good fight. There we go. Tendal Orb as well. Just have to wait for my opportunity when he lowered his guard a bit. And there we go, good fight. Fight Bill Cash. We are really going down in time right now. Just not seeing any of the much needed caskets. Very unfortunate. <clears throat> but it's all good. Let's see if we can kill this guy with our beautiful bludgeon. Real quick right, right here. 56, let's double him. 44, damn, close. Oh wow, he doubles, okay. I wanted to risk it at 2 HP, just go for it. But Unfortunately. We have net again over here. Only 20 minutes left. We might go dry this entire hour, to be honest. At this rate, we're barely getting kills, honestly. Definitely not the most entertaining weapon. You definitely have a lot of uh, other options that might aid you a little bit better. And of course, the uh, the new blood scythe is just 
dominating to the max. So are we done? Oh, come on, chance. 82, there it is, guys. Beautiful, finally, we managed to hit it. Something above an 80, beautiful, man. Can't believe we managed to do that. So yeah, at a really low HPs, it might pay off. You can get those big hits. All right, we're gonna destroy Yarch over here real quick. As soon as we get ourselves a bit lower HP, we can try and go in here for a bludgeon spec and hit a 10. Oh well, can't always be lucky. Ooh. Do have to keep in mind that the pet up yeah, is gonna hit me. Whoa! 63, what a beautiful combo right there. Just in the middle of uh, when I could still hit him. Fucking insane, dude. What was I trying to say? I was going to say something. I completely forgot. Alright, good luck to X Jewels over here. Oh, there we go, good fight. No casket again, unfortunately, for me. But some okay loot, 500 mil. So there is actually another thing I would like to try out, which is a bit more in the direction of rushing. So the idea behind that is that I shouldn't be risking anything. I don't want to lose. We can try the Festa, why not? I don't really mind losing a Festa set. Though I'd, oh man, we're also wasting the uh, the timer with this with these shenanigans. Oh well, I don't care too much about the caskets at the moment. Let's just have some fun. So we're gonna take out a Dwarven Rock Cake. Rush someone and just see what we can hit. We shouldn't be risking it, even Scald. So I can safely rush with it, I think. Pretty sure, yeah, there we go, okay. So what if we just do like set to Derek's mode? And then just try and rush someone. I don't want to die to their Fench, so if we stay a little bit higher HP, then we can hit him first and then go in for the spec maybe? Just give it a try. See how this goes. Oh no, he's right click. Fuck, are you kidding me? He was a right click due to the fact that he was uh He isn't my target. It was a shitty spec anyway. And it's still right click, that's so annoying. You don't wanna have to right click while rushing. And we hit a 70 good fight. Damn! Out of nowhere. I thought I got a drop, but I got nothing. Alright, we're just going to try and straight up bomb someone, just to see what our max possible hit could potentially be on someone randomly. With the Grim Reaper pet, of course, for the extra accuracy at low HP. We'll probably kill myself on a Vengeance right around now, but let's just see how it goes. What can we spec on someone randomly? 56. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. Yeah, I don't lose jack shit anyway, that's fucking hilarious, that's funny. Okay, let's try it again. I want to see something a little bit higher than that. I mean, I am obviously risking a lot in terms of uh, coins on death, but let's see what we can... Oh no, I'm not wearing my fucking... This dickhead. I just killed you, dude. You're not giving me anything. Ooh, he hit a 70 on him. Wow, that combo didn't kill him, really? What is Doggy doing over there? Who's you attacking, boy? Good fight. Oh, that's a beautiful stack right there. Yeah, I didn't get shit because I just killed him earlier. I wanna just straight bomb someone though. <clears throat> Alright, let's try this again. I don't want the same dude over and over, dude. Okay, let's try and bomb Tech over here. If we can be quick enough. Kill ourselves on his fang. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be a pain in my ass to hit with this thing. I can already tell. I'm gonna make sure people don't know about it and start attacking me before I even enter the wildy. That's really annoying. No, I should be straight up 1 HP. Just see the max possible hit. If we can hit something in 1 HP, it should be an absolute banger. I don't think I can 1 hit someone, but we can give it a shot, you know. Let's go with Fuens here. We hit an 18 on him, damn it. Oh, he ran out at the fucking timing. Oh, we can hit this guy, he's low def. Oh, he doesn't have vengeance. Ah, oh, fuck. Still managed to die to his recoil. It's just not hitting for me, man. 
Even the 1 HP with the bat just won't fucking hit. Alright then ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna end off the video right there. Really hope you guys enjoyed it, it wasn't the best. Honestly, personally, I think it can use a little bit of a buff. I mean, I know it can spec high, but the accuracy is so low. Like, I had to delete so many clips because it, no one just died in general. And uh, it, this was like a long session of PKing as well. It just doesn't hit often. Not often at all. So, maybe some sort of buff could be implemented for accuracy-wise. And if needs be, then maybe cap the max hit if, that, if that's too high for people. But I think it's absolutely fine the way it is in terms of max hits. Just too inaccurate to be a really viable weapon. And you can tell that, that a lot of people think that way due to how low it is in price already. Literally no one wants one. Anyway, really hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you learned something about it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Metal Raven out.